And now, ladies and gentlemen, for your scientific edification, an experiment in which we demonstrate the transfer of energy through waves. <laughs> that never gets old. <laughs> We now return to fuzz. Yeah, we're looking for waves. They carry energy away from the source. There's one. I'm on him. On the ground, wave. On the ground. Don't make me run any further. Is that energy? Is that energy? Is this your energy? I'm down, I'm down. Is this your energy? I swear I've never seen that energy before in yeah, my life. That's what they all say. Waves carry energy. When a force causes a disturbance in a medium, like air or water, that energy can be carried away from the source in waves. So let's take a closer look at waves and the different ways in which they can transfer energy. Now we know that sound waves carry energy as, well, sound. You may be thinking, sure, we can hear the sound waves, so what? Well, in this experiment, we'll see that the energy carried by sound waves can do much more than just make sound. This is a tuning fork, not to be confused with a salad fork. A tuning fork is designed to vibrate at a certain pitch when it's hit, like so. What just happened? Well, the energy Steve gave off with the hit from the mallet transferred directly into the tuning fork, making it vibrate really fast. That vibration, in turn, gave off sound waves. Now we've mounted these two tuning forks to these wooden boxes, which will amplify the sound. Watch what happens when we strike just one of them. Check that out. The sound waves generated by the vibrations of the first tuning fork were strong enough and just the right frequency to cause the second tuning fork to vibrate on its own. Now what would happen if we replicated this experiment on a larger scale? We all know how a speaker works. Electricity runs through the magnetic coils in the speaker, which causes the cone in the speaker to vibrate. This is what creates the sound waves. Think of a car stereo blasting loud music, rattling the windows. What would happen if we cranked up the intensity a little? We'll use a slightly different speaker and a glass beaker. If we send out the right sound waves from the speaker, we can match what's called the resonant frequency of the beaker. Resonant frequency, noun, the frequency which an object naturally vibrates. Right, so what happens when we match the sound waves from the speaker to the resonant frequency of the beaker. Let's watch. When the sound waves from the speaker were tuned to match the resonant frequency of the beaker, the beaker began to vibrate. And the vibrations were so great, the glass actually shattered. Now granted, that was wicked awesome. But what does it tell us about sound waves? Sound waves, sound waves, sound waves carry energy. Right. As we've seen, sound waves transferred energy to various objects, making them move. Their kinetic energy was increased. Kinetic energy. Noun. Energy of motion. Energy that an object has simply because it's moving. Right. The fact that the kinetic energy of the objects increased due to the sound showed that the sound waves were transferring energy to them. But there are other ways in which energy can be transferred by waves. We know that light is a wave as well, right? Well, we can actually collect this sunlight and focus it using a Fresnel lens. It works kind of like a magnifying glass. The lens is designed to direct the light into a concentrated area. Hey! Hey! Steve! Bring that trash over here! Now don't try this at home. 
Or if you do, don't tell anybody that you learned it from here. Watch what happens when we direct the focused sunlight onto some of these objects. Check that out. Using only the light from the sun, we were able to burn that trash. This transfer of energy is different from any other we've seen today. First, we use light. Light waves are electromagnetic waves. This means they can travel through the empty space between the Earth and the sun. Second, instead of making the object move, the wave increased the thermal energy of the object. Thermal energy. Noun. Energy caused by... Um, that's okay. I've got this one. Thermal energy is what you sense when there is a change in temperature. The light, focused by the lens, raises the temperature of each of those objects so much, they actually burst into flames. <gasps> now, let's put it all together. Waves carry energy. We can observe this energy in a variety of ways. When a wave makes an object move, it's increasing its kinetic energy, like in the case of the beaker. Light waves can increase the temperature of an object when they're absorbed, increasing its thermal energy. Any way you look at it, it's energy being transferred. Of course, tuning forks, breaking beakers, and setting things on fire are only some of the ways in which energy can be transferred. I bet you can think of five others. Maybe you can make up some experiments of your own to show how energy can be carried using waves. <laughs>